marvelous Mike. Mike, in 1971, when you were at Villanova, not only did the basketball team there come in second place in basketball in 1971, but also that year you led the nation with 14 receiving touchdown receptions. What was it like on the campus at Villanova in 71? Well, you know, Villanova is not a big football school, and, uh, you know, it was exciting. You know, we were Division One back then, and we played a lot of the ACC schools. We played Virginia Tech, we play uh, uh, Maryland, North Carolina, Clemson, and so it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then speaking of Villanova, there's another guy, another Raider, um, perhaps you heard his name, Howie Long. Okay. Another guy from Villanova, every time I see him, I say, hey, you followed me all over the world here. You followed me to Villanova, you followed me to the Raiders, but then you passed me on the way to the Hall of Fame, okay? So he's another Villanova guy. Rock, in 1976, your USC football team placed second in the country, and that year you were all Pack A champs the year before my college, Cal Berkeley, led by Chuck Muncy, won the Pack A. What was it like defeating Berkeley that year in 1976? Do you, have a, do you have a tape of that game? <laughs> I don't, but I've seen highlights of the 75 season with Chuck. <laughs> no, but, I mean, you know, playing against Cal and being from USC, um, you know, it was a rival. I mean, it was a big time rival. And playing against Chuck Muncy, one of the greatest running backs of all time. <laughs> and uh, you know, it, was, it was competitive, man. You know, we were going to come up here and be tough and, and make something happen and win the game. But, you know, can't win all the games. But, you know, still did all right. And then, gentlemen, finally, you were both coached by Tom Flores. What was that like? You both were coached by him. Tom Flores and I actually started the same year with the Raiders. Uh, Tom was my receiver coach. And th that year we had uh, myself and Cliff were drafted, Cliff Branch were drafted together. And so Tom was a great mentor and a great coach because he was more of a teacher and he helped us. He was very patient with us. And then obviously, you know, when John retired, Tom took over. And by the way, why isn't Tom? Flores in the Hall of Fame. He should be. Yeah. Yes, he should yeah. be. Sure. How many Super Bowl rings does a guy need to get into the Hall of Fame? Horrible. Well, Tom, first of all, Tom Flores is my neighbor in Manhattan Beach. <laughs> and then also, you know, as well as my coach. Like Mike said, he should be in the Hall of Fame for doubt, no doubt. The only coach that has won multiple Super Bowls that's not voted into the Hall of Fame. That's a travesty in itself right there. Tom helped me win two Super Bowl rings. He had one before as well. He coached us to a great Super Bowl wins. Um, he's a great guy. I mean, he, he was a player, he was a coach, and he knew how to tell the guys what to do and how to coach each one of us. And that's how we became successful.